And you are welcome. It is now time for our entertainment segment here. And joining me is, well, hey, call her a media enthusiast, call her a writer, call her an influencer. She's everything all wrapped up in a very beautiful package. Ms. Adako in the house. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. Did I do well? Do you need more um, hype? No, no. You, yes, you, know? you did just <laughs> fine. Oh, Grant, good to have you here. Thank you. So, entertainment, uh, we always talk very fun topics, and especially everything people have been seeing, but we get to look at it even deeper. And we have very interesting stories today. Now, guys, this is what we have today. Don't know if you guys saw it from over the weekend. The car accident involving skit maker. Of course, everybody knows him as Mr. Sabinus, but he's Chukwe Mecca Ejeku. Uh, now, he was involved in a car accident. Uh, the ugly incident took place on Sunday, September 11th, uh, which also happened at just about the same time I actually used that route. According to several reports, the comedian was driving in Lagos when a drunk driver rammed into his car. Thankfully, nothing happened to him. He didn't sustain any injuries. It was reported that the comedian had gone to propose for, uh, to his girlfriend at her father's place just before that, I think the day before. And um, now that then happened. I mean, I was like, I can't believe it. I love Sabinus. I don't know about you. Well, me too. He has a lot of followership. He has built his brand over time. So he is a well-beloved comedian. Well, needless to, needless to say, uh, in his Twitter handle, he did mention don't drink and drive. Uh -huh. It goes without saying. You don't think he was saying. on drinking, do you, now? He wouldn't say if he heard, was, would you? I also heard that people were following him as he's trying to handle private business. Oh. So you never know. He could be, you know, mm. he could have been chased. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is a Diana situation, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you never know what, how these stories unfold, yeah. but, but we think that for his life. Now that you say that, I can see that happening where people are always very excited to see their stars there in person and they always want to kind of like, you know, I mean, there was the case with Port well, Portable. I hate to talk about Portable, but he has quite a following himself and you can always see that crowd around him. But, um, well, I'm hoping that this doesn't, you know, you know kind of like uh, detract him from any of his endeavors because I absolutely love the guy. I think his comedy is always very, very rich, always very, very, uh, what's the word now I'm looking for? It's, it's nothing too risque, and that's why I like him. I like him too. Um, you know, I was going through his skits this morning, and it just reminds me, he's just like a down-to-earth, it's not, it's not too much fluff, it's just real-life situations that he usually skits about, so... Um, like Happy everyday guy, the guy next door, let's put it that way. Yes. Now, this very interesting story here is the one I really want to talk about. Ice Prince has been released from prison. Now, uh, the rapper was released from the Ukraine prison after meeting his bail conditions. Uh, this was made known by his lawyer, Fulani, uh, da, uh, um, during the trial on Wednesday. Uh, that's uh, last week, I think. Now, the prosecution lawyer asked the court to adjourn the case, uh, citing the absence of the two witnesses. However, the rapper's lawyers presented the two sureties to the court, and the court had earlier granted him bail in the summer of 500,000 naira and asked him to provide two responsible sureties. Now, you may recall that Ice Prince was arrested, I think, last week, earlier last week, I think if it's not a Sunday or so, uh, for assaulting a police officer. And according to the statement released by the spokesperson of the Lagos State Police Command, Benjamin uh, Hundei, the music star abducted and threatened to throw an officer of the law into the river while he was doing <sighs> his business. You know, carry on the good way, no, no. <laughs> That was the funny part for me. I don't know why or what exactly transpired, but I can figure out exactly what it is if you ask me. But let's hear what you think. I think the jury's out there. I mean, you have the police story and then you have the other side of the Which story. We haven't really heard we haven't really heard much about his side. Yeah, yeah, me neither. So it's kind of a weird situation. Knowing Ice Prince, knowing his fan base, and they know him as a cool cat, mm -hmm. I believe. So it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to believe that this really happened. Well, I'll tell you something. Uh, this is this is. I might be wrong, and I stand to be corrected here. Now, Ice Prince is a very nice guy, very humble guy. I ha have met him once, uh, I think, uh, before, and uh, we bumped into each other at the airport. I mean, literally, boom, and then he apologized profusely. It was a very interesting meeting. That was the only time. But, you know, unlike other stars who might be like, you know, they see where you go, that yeah. kind of thing. So I kind of liked him after that. I, I, I don't imagine a situation where he really, truly was puffing his chest and telling the police officers, do you know who I am kind of situation. What? I see him as a completely different dude. The, the argument so, is out there that that was exactly what happened. Uh, don't yeah. you, you know? But that story is just one-sided now. Yeah, well, I, 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 I could see, like, a situation where he's like, I mean, hey, I am a music star. You should know who I am. But the thing is, is Ice Prince still as relevant as what he used to be? 
His I fans like think so, I think. Oh, I don't know. Is he as big as what he used to be? He Did may he not be as big. Did he ever make that M.I. mark from before? Well, he may not be as big as he used to be, but I think he is a legend that's already written okay. in the books. So it is what it is. But I'm glad everything will work out uh -huh. in the end for well, him. Let's hope that this doesn't, you know, spoil let's anything. Let's hope it him. doesn't blow out of proportion. Nice guy, Ice Prince. I hope that this ends well. But please, next time, if a police officer gets into your car, just... Don't drive the car, because it's, it's happened many times before, even with me. Just stay where you are and obey whatever it is that they're asking you to do. Let's move on now to everybody's favorite. I don't know if you're a David Doe fan or a Whiskey fan, but hey, Whiskey has come out once again. He's made history after he became the first African artist to headline the famous music festival with The Rolling Loud. Now, he thrilled the crowd with a captivating selection of his classic records. And um, this is uh, yet another huge feat for the Nigerian artist in which, uh, you know, I mean, he is just, he's just, I mean, he knows no bounds at this point. This is a bit of that uh, performance. Check that out. I mean, this is just beautiful, isn't it? Headlining. Now that's amateur video there of the concert, but it was fantastic. You can feel the energy even from here. Have you ever been to a Whiskey concert before? I haven't, and I missed the opportunity to go to a Whiskey concert at one point. Actually, let me take it back. Sometime about five years ago, uh -huh. he performed, I believe, at one African Music Fest. Mm -hmm. It and was a pandem it was the yeah, I was there. It was a pandemonium. Like oh. it was it wasn't just him though, it was a whole bunch of artists. Which reminds me, like big ups to all Afrobeats artists these oh, days. Oh yes. Like they are doing it. And Whiskid, mm -hmm. he is surely a pioneer. Mm -hmm. I have to say I'm very proud of him. He is doing big, 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 big things. It's like there's wherever. no end to what his I mean. There he just is keeps no end to achieving his... one feet after the other and I'm yeah. like Yes. When is this going to stop? Is he ever going to run into a brick wall or anything? Stops. I hope he never does. I am, however, a Davido fan, not a Whiskey fan, but I think that he is fantastic. Oh, okay, I think kid. we can go into a whole diatribe <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. about that. <laughs> let's like, not, let's not. I'm sorry, but Whiskey <laughs> is my all-time favorite I man. think he's great as well, don't Next get to me Burner wrong. Boy, but, but, um, but that's a whole while he's story. achieving all of this, there is one person who actually made big, big news, big headlines last week after he released his album, uh, Mr. Money with Vibes, and I'm I'm talking, no, uh, talking about none other than uh, Mr. Um, uh, Ashake. Have you listened to the album? What do you think? Review real quick. What's your opinion about this album? Hmm, Ashake. I'm slowly getting. I like when you said it. I'm, I'm slowly, I'm slowly getting into his vibe. I think his, you he what? has a sound. Sacrilege. Slowly. <laughs> no. You know, for me, like for me to like take on. It's like an adoption almost for me with every artist. Like, there has to be something unique about each and every artist that I usually adopt into mm -hmm. my system. And I think Ashake is warm. I'm warming up to You're him. You're warming up? Just a little bit. You are the bit. first person I've met who's warming up to I am everybody adopts up to him, him like just that. Just a little bit. But I would say that his sound is quite unique. I, I think if I hear an Ashake sound anywhere, I would identify it. Oh. Because, I mean, there is a lot of music out there. Mm -hmm. as, an, as an artist, it's important for you to stand out. It's important for you, you to have a sound. And I think he does have a sound, and I think it's pretty great. I'll tell you real quick before we uh, end this segment. The truth about Ashake is that he's evolving Nigerian music. Now, I know that it's a borrowed kind of music because the truth is it's I'm a piano and all of that. Yeah. But he's even making it bigger than what the South Africans make it. And I think that that's a force to reckon with. His style, his videos, his art is very different. Nothing like we've ever seen. And from such a very different kind of person. I mean, it's, it's just, I, I love the guy. And 
I will toot that horn anywhere because it's, it's a fantastic artist. But in any case, Mr. Daku, thank you very much for making it on for entertainment today. We absolutely love the fact that you made it here. But thank you for having just me. Just because uh, it's, a, it's, it's National Whiskey Month. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, I'll take that. Let's just do that video again because we're all very excited about it and we wish more uh, for Whiskey to come in the future. And uh, please don't stop. Oh, he also, uh, by the way, revealed the, new, the name of his next uh, um, record, which should be dropping today's Tuesday, tomorrow, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So you guys watch out for that one. But here's a bit of that Whiskey once again. And then when we get back, Adaku will be inviting you over to the kitchen to have a taste of what we've been preparing all morning. All right. Can't wait. Thank you.